As you know, Wisconsin is ranked 43rd out of 50 in terms of its state support uh, for its un public universities, um, and we need to move that up if we're going to be successful as a state long term. Uh, those monies are an investment in the future of the state of Wisconsin and the future generations of Wisconsinites that will live here. You know, we think that $855 million is really important. It's, a, it's, a, it's an important investment in the state because we're coming off of 10 plus years of neglect at the universities of Wisconsin. Couple that with a, a decade long tuition freeze. Our universities are, are really you know, on, on, the, on, the, on the cusp in terms of their financial wherewithal. I mean, this university has done an extraordinary job with very limited resources. That can't go on forever. So I think the first thing to do is get that additional funding in and then decide amongst the 13 universities, how can we best divide that to best support the state of Wisconsin? But the, 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 the goal one has to be, there has to be a more substantial investment in our universities um, or they're going to wither. It's as simple as that. I mean, we are at that point now in our state that they will wither. Um, and, you know, whether, you know, we have to look at additional tuition increases, which impact affordability, you know, it, it's just not going to work. Um, that's just reality. And, you know, as it relates to lacrosse, uh, a lot of it relates to, you know, a, a big chunk of the budget ask relates to uh, getting, uh, our, um, uh, getting our employment compensation levels up to market. Uh, we are below market in many of our, uh, at many of our universities, whether that's faculty, whether that's staff. And then another piece is just around research uh, and development and innovation. Um, and one of the big asks that we are making relates to artificial intelligence, to create an artificial intelligence hub uh, within the universities of Wisconsin to help support the state long term in that developing technology. And I'm not sure exactly what that technology is going to mean long term, but it, I think it has the real potential of causing a seismic shift. Uh, in our economy and how we look at the world. Wisconsin needs to be out at the forefront of that or Wisconsin will fall behind. And this is an investment uh, in that innovative uh, concept to see how we can go. And it's not just in the technology, it's also in you know, the societal impacts, the ethical impacts, the moral impacts of artificial intelligence. How should it be, be used? How should it be regulated uh, so that it can benefit society? Yeah, you're asking for $53 million for that investment across mm -hmm. the system. Mm -hmm. um, how do you justify that for the system and for UWL? Uh, you know, I, I think how you justify that is that that is, in the scheme of things, it's a lot of money, but it's also a modest amount when you think about the potential that artificial intelligence has and what it costs to, to be able to find faculty, to be able to find the infrastructure that you need to do this, to have us rethink how we educate students. Because in, in my view, artificial intelligence should be a component of every single class that we offer long term. Whether you're in political science or in chemistry, how does artificial intelligence impact this? How should we be thinking about this? So we are preparing students for you know, the, the next 50 to 60 years that they're going to be you know, actively involved in society. Artificial intelligence is going to play a role in that. Uh, and you know, if it's if it's the next industrial revolution, which I think it is, um, that is a modest investment to make in the future of our state.